Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so our first card out, Gemini, is step out of, out of your comfort zone, North Node. So this talks about, for some of you, you need to, you know that you, you need to go towards what scares you. And it could be being alone or going it alone or leaving something behind. But just know that you're on the right path, the right direction. You know, it scares the pants out of you to be doing this thing or to, um, go in a new direction, but you have to do it. You got to step out of your comfort zone. This could even be letting like lower vibrational energy, people, place, things go. Understanding that you're here for, you know, higher calling. Um, stop obsessing over something or someone. Let it go. It's okay. It happened. You know, you just got to keep moving forward. Uh, you're on a path of destiny. You just need to know that. Uh, you just need to move forward here. Let's see. What is this about? How is Gemini coming into the reading? Some of you just, yeah, eight of cups. So some of you moving, moving away, letting go. It, this could be an act of self-respect too. You, you've analyzed the situation. You've also analyzed yourself. And it was like, look, I'm not even respecting myself, but I'm asking for this other person, place, or thing to respect me. I need to let this go. I need to walk away. I'm too emotionally invested. Um, this can even be moving home, you know, moving your home, moving to another home. This could be leaving the home. Uh, this could even be walking away from the fight. You could be dealing with uh, Leo. I don't know, I'm getting Leo coming up. Uh, only you know why you're leaving this. Only you know why you're you know, you're done with it. This also could be finishing up and moving on. This could be, okay, I'm going to finish up this job or this contract or whatever. And then I'm, you know, I'm out, I'm leaving. You know, it just doesn't serve me. I can't do this any longer for whatever reason. You know the reason here. Yeah, it just says, um, you could even have visitors in your home. You can't wait for them to leave too. Or the Eight of Cups. Um, let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on. What is the advice for Gemini moving forward here? It's just like, also with the Eight of Cups, it's like a soul journey. It's like, um, what do you want to say? It's it's more so like a self-discovery journey. It is uh, soul searching. It's a spiritual retreat. You don't know where you're going to land, but you know you got to leave with this Eight of Cups here. You know you can't stay with this person, place, or thing any longer because it's it's depleting you. It's taking from you. You've given more than it's than you've gotten back. It's just not working. You've been on a hamster wheel with a particular person, place, or thing. Uh, the advice here for you is: Wow, the chariot card. Move forward. Persevere. Some of you, you kind of lost your power here. It's about getting your power back, putting more energy, effort into you. The chariot card is so selfish and so self-centered and so self-directed. That's that energy. Sometimes you need to persevere to achieve goals, short-term goals in the chariot. Again, a lot of moving. This could be like a move, a physical move. Maybe you're trying to move to one city, one state, moving. It's a big move, too. Uh, you're just trying to figure out how does that look for you. You're a little bit scared. It scares you to do so. Um, this could even be moving, again, job, leaving one job and going to another, finishing some, something up and then moving on. The chariot card also talks about even this could be military. So some of you are moving around for the military or being deployed or something of that nature. Something scares you. Something is, you know, it's a, a f the fear element there with the chariot. It's, it's like you're trying to keep your emotions intact here. You're trying to stay emotionally grounded, mentally grounded. Also, you don't want either one to overtake you, to overcome Um do keep in mind with the chariot card is a very positive one. The outcome, yeah, definitely militant, military. Uh, the king of swords is the outcome. That could be you, Gemini. So you just, uh, hold. You, again, you've taken emotions out here. You're being very ambitious. You're going after what it is you want. Um, this is the ambitious man or ambitious woman here. 
Uh, this is somebody who uh, they're attached to an outcome here. So it's like if you are a part of something, you could be waiting for somebody here. Yep. You're waiting for somebody to change their mind or make something happen. But this is a tough cookie, especially if this is a feminine energy dealing with the masculine. This masculine energy, you're not going to move him easily. You could be waiting for this person to do something to make some change or uh, put something in, in line or in order or get the ball rolling on something. OK, I just got that for some of you. And then for some of you, if you're a masculine energy, if you are a Gemini, it just looks like more so you're concerned about yourself. Um, you will have relationships or love relationships, but they're more so for you to get what you want, the opportunity for you. It's not more so about the whole or the couple or the group. It just, it just isn't. You'd be traveling to someone to see them and then you get what you want and you leave. It's nothing more, nothing less. Some of you are very militant in your thinking uh, you've kind of cut your cut ties with emotions here. You're just done with that. It's easier for you to just be in your head and to think it through and to be super logical and rational. Some of you want to be a bachelor. You're not sure about marriage or long-term commitment. Not at this point. Some of you have really high standards for yourself and then for love partners. Therefore, it's, it's hard for you to settle. That's how you feel. Some of you are getting some messages from the divine, but the king of swords here. You get some real high intellectual, spiritual type of messages. Some of you are just really trying to ascend, learn, move forward. And come out of that low vibrational way of living, thinking, being. So it's it, in order, again, for you to see achievement, it's like you have to be focused on yourself. And that's how you feel right now. You can't focus on anything or anyone else. What's the wild card for Gemini? Wild card. Wild card for Gemini. What a, okay. Yeah, the strength card. So it's like you're just trying to govern yourself accordingly. This is emotional uh, intellect. So you're really, you know, wise in terms of how you express your emotions. You don't let anything get the best of you. There's no outburst. Um, you're taming yourself. There could be an inner beast within you, but you, you're taming yourself for whatever reason. This is also, this could even have external influence here. It's like you you want to scream so loud, but you're, you're not because it just doesn't add to anything. It doesn't add value. Um, it's just like you're holding something in or you're holding it down for, for whatever reason so that you can move forward, so you, that you can persevere, so that you can um, achieve with the strength card. Some of you, the feminine energy is uh, learning how to express her emotions accurately and not have outbursts. Yeah. So that there can be uh, harmony in a relationship. So that the healing can happen. Healing, forgiveness also. This is what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you. You and somebody who does not on speaking terms. It was a very mental relationship. It's like all this mental gymnastics. This is somebody you have history with, you want to be with. They could be a little bit older than you. They push your buttons. You push theirs. You know, it's always been that way. This is what I have. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you. Take care.